printing money is bad, mm -hmm. right? It's inflationary. Mm -hmm. uh, but borrowing printed money is insane. <laughs> well, that was more because of the originate to sell model. So in the old days, when a bank wrote a mortgage, yeah. it was up to them to make sure that the lender, I mean, excuse me, the borrower, met the criteria that satisfied their board of directors and their bank. Right. And some were very conservative and some were very risky, and the risky guys charged more, and the, the less risky guys charged less, you see? Mm -hmm. So they simply took that away from the banks and threw it into a pool. So once the banks originate the mortgage and then sell it, it's not on their books anymore. Right. So all that reserve requirement and, and making sure the borrower is, is sound and all those sorts of things no longer apply to the bank. They don't care. So in the originate to hold market that we all grew up in, forgive me if you're a, a contemporary of mine, you grew up in a market where the bank uh, wrote the loan and then held it and received the income and was responsible. And if you didn't pay, you would hear from that bank. Sure. Not from somebody else 4,000 miles away that suddenly claims you owe them money. So the problems associated with the securitized uh, industry or the synthetic uh, debt obligation industry is that it, it scattered the risk to the winds and no one was responsible for it. Mm -hmm. They believed that they could simply transfer it to a the numbers equation where the riskiest loans pay the highest returns and the least risky loans pay the least return, and that would take care of the market. But the one thing they didn't count on is the fraud, and the fraud was in the issuance. So I've talked about this again many times where they take a million dollars worth of mortgages and put it in a pool and somehow come out with $2 million worth of mortgage-backed securities. Yeah. That was that was the problem. So, Not that they... Yeah. The, because that extra million dollars, well, that's earnings for J.P. Morgan, that's commissions for the brokers, the syndicators, the underwriters, everybody in the stream took a piece of that extra million bucks. And it came right out of the hides of American investors. So if you think that was bad, understand that since then, hmm. they everything from car leases to plane leases everything. to motorhomes to manufactured housing loans, student loans, credit cards, name the sector, Bitcoin, every single sector, the debt has been purchased, synthetic securities have been created, all these commissions have been made, and there's no way to get that money back. Well. So ultimately, it, it has to go to its real value. And sure, it's easy to point the finger at, oh, this guy defaulted, he didn't pay for his motorhome, but what about the million dollars in fees that was taken in the middle? Yeah. That's where the air was. And since all of that was taken out and spent, now there's no substance. There's no value. You've diluted the very existence of the mortgage in the first place. Because now hmm. all the commissions have been taken. It's not worth twice as much as it was when it was a single mortgage on a single home. So how could it be worth twice you know, twice as much just because it's part of a securitized pool. That's where the losses occurred. And then you throw in the extra loss for the guys that didn't pay. So what would have been, uh, okay, so you paid a, a dollar, yeah, you can yeah, only yeah. get 85 cents. Now you paid a dollar, you can only get 30 cents. Uh-oh. Now we have a problem. Yeah. So that so was that the big problem. Free. And as you said, that I think, Andrew, it. nine or ten years ago, that if, if you added up all of the subprimes, like this lady said, that you know, the, even the movie blamed the, the thing on the subprimes. Well, not really. I mean, yeah. they knew the CDRs 20%. in the NBA. Yeah. So, so that uh, that that could have all been taken care of. I think you said what? One hundred eighty billion. Yeah, one hundred eighty billion dollars yeah, uh, could have just made the right. whole thing go away. Just boom. Yeah, but you would have needed to come up with one point four trillion to pay off all the air that was taken out yeah. of those deals in commission. Which Where was that going to come from? Yeah. I mean, they already bought their Mercedes. They already took their bought their vacation home in the Hamptons and took their world cruises. You, you, you know, that money's all gone. So what do you, how are you going to get that back? That's what I'm saying. What should have been a haircut turned into a scalping. <laughs> and, and now they've done it again. Hey, that's a good one. You know, I should probably quote that one. I'm going to write that one down.